Hi, welcome to Special Data Hub once again. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a core plate map as you can see on my screen. So, um, this is using data boundary from for the country Nigeria, and I'll just turn this off. Here, I have the boundary data for each state in the country, and here I have the population data set. If you want to download these two data sets, I'll drop links in the description for videos on how you can download population data for any location and boundary data for any location if you're just using this for experiment i also drop links in the description on how you can download this exact data set so you could just perform your analysis we'll perform zonal statistics to get the um, location the population sum of each of these states according to the different boundaries in between so on your processing toolbox once again the description on the a video on how to make a detailed zonal statistics is in the description of the video so do well to check it out but i'll just run this through so that if you can follow it up you follow it up otherwise check it out in the description so use the population Set this to purple. Population. Set the statistics. We don't need count. We don't need mean. We just need the sum. And then you can use this to save to a file. Otherwise, save to a file. Select the directory which you want. I don't need that because I already do. So I'll just leave it as a temporary file and run. So do well to check out the channel. This is my channel. If you can see where my cursor is, you can see how to download population and census data. You can see how to perform zonal statistics in QGIS. And then there is also a video on how you can download um, ship files for free so once this is done which i believe it is not yet okay it is done we can turn this off turn this off so open the attribute table, right click, open attribute table, and then you see the population sum here. This is what we want. You can close this up. So to perform, make your core plate map, core plate map, you can close up your toolbox, click on the layer, click on layer styling. If you don't find your layers panel here, Right click on your toolbar and under panels you see layers panel. So click on layers, click on layers panel. You can only select it from here. So the title the name of our file is zonal statistics. Let's change the single symbol to graduated by what value? This determines what, so change the value, select value to population sum symbol. We can leave the symbol for now. And then classes, I like four classes because it makes each color distinct. So depending on your data set, you can know what to choose. It's on live updates. If yours isn't on live updates, do well to check this box. Otherwise, you need to click on classify whenever you are done. So, if your data set requires equal interval, that's what you want, fine. If it doesn't, in my case, it did not. Because it won't represent the data in, in the way I wanted it to. So, if you want fixed intervals, if you want equal intervals, if you want quartiles and percentiles, you can do all of that. 
then you can change the color of the map the color ramp yeah anything you want let's select blues for your legends you can change your legend values let's say you want um you want your legends to okay I think this is where our attribute table comes to play. Right click again, open the attribute table. When you click on the population sum, it orders your list of states by population. As you can see, the highest population here is this. No, see, it, it's a water body, it's not a state. You can do well to delete that if you are using this data set. So the lowest population here is this 2000, um, okay, 2.5 million, 2.5 million. You can click on it again. It's now orders by descending order. So the highest population is 14 million, 13 million, and then 8 million. So if you just conceptualize this a bit and you'll be able to understand the best way to categorize your data. So here I'll set my data so that I can eliminate that um, lowest value, which is a water body. This is the water body here. So I can set my lowest va lowest value to 2 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. and set the upper value of the first one to let's say 5 million 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then you see it automatically selects that for the next um, lower value you can set this to 7 million or 7.5 million and from 7.5 million you can set this to 10 million is that correct 10 million three it's not correct. Add another zero. Enter. And then you can set this to 15 million. One, two, three, four, five. So that's how I want to organize my data. So this is it. If you want to represent your data in a web map you can check my channel i'll post another video after this on how to create a web map and how to publish it on github to make it publicly available otherwise if you are to create a an image file for it here is one simple thing i want to show you on how you could edit okay let's just imagine we add a map here so if you are to work on the legend of this map to make your legend look like this it's really not difficult see so you add your legend uncheck auto updates check all the show items in this map and then OSM standard you can remove it so you want your viewers to not be reading through the zeros and zeros so just double click on this value and edit it to what you want you can set it to 5m as the case may be and you have a much more presentable map. 
let me know if you have any difficulties in the comment section of this video and i'll be there to respond to your queries do well to check the description like subscribe to my channel special data hub and i'll see you in the next video